very beautiful morning to all our viewers from so everybody watching us this is your life today with your favorite host alice nad streaming live here at hbm west tv that is monday to friday 8 a.m to 10 a.m and uh, allow me to bring to you the sponsors of this show it's probably sponsored by the first world is living alkaline coffee that comes in four flavors have it in cappuccino original latte and sugar free and then to the babies we got you sorted by simply using my choco so straight away uh, allow me to go through today's section and this is something i want to talk about or something i want to share about is something very crucial though people take it to be a minor thing of life a minor aspect of life and this is humility no matter what if you want to if you're aiming at going up there you need to be humble enough situations are going to come in and out but the only thing that will help you maneuver through is humility so humility this is the freedom from pride or arrogance, the quality or state of being humble. Most of us are arrogant. Mm. You might say you're humble, but there is somewhere when someone triggers you to the last point and you'll be like, oh, I cannot hold it. She has to see the beast in me. No matter what, you need to stay humble. So I want us to look at the three actions of humility. Action number one is recognizing your own shortcomings and limitations. Yes, we deal with people day in and day out, but you need to know your limitations in someone's life or in something that you're dealing in. As far as you need to stay humble. People will step on you. People will act weird on you and remember you need to be humble. Then another one is appreciating others' strength. You need to give credit. You remember no one has ever made it up there alone. Even on your life today, we work as a team, as a panel. So if you need to be really there, you need to give credit and appreciate others and their achievements. Then point number three is showing openness to learning from others. Now this is where most of us fail from. You know you are a doctor, you are a senior guy in colleges. So there is nothing an ass can tell you. You know I'm the host, your favorite host, Alice Nats, your life today. So what can a cleaner tell me? Just imagine. But there are so many things that you need to learn from these people who are down here. That are going to, that, and these things are going to push us higher in life. There are so many things that even you need to learn from young children. You know, I always associate with babies. I love being around babies. I really love working with those sweet, innocent, humble souls. Because each day of my life, they give me a lesson. You might see a baby crying, they want milk, and you really refuse to give them milk. Instead of giving them milk, you're giving them tea. But you know what they will do? They'll make it pass. They take your tea. In the long run, they know at one time they'll get the milk. So you're doing business. You're dealing with different people. But you need to learn from them. Do not be that I know it all caliber. Do not. You need to learn. There is much you need to learn from those people cleaning on the roads. You need. There is much you need to learn from those people cleaning in the toilets. There is much to learn from that person who is here to join your business. That's why you really need them. There is need to learn. There is a lot you need to learn from your uplines. You. There is a lot you need to learn from your downlines, from your cross lines. I mean, there is a lot. There is really a lot. So, you really need to set your mind at a level of learning something new each day, each time each minute, each hour. And remember, if you take the three actions that I've shared about today or we have talked about today, you're going to be a tremendous, a business personnel, and you see things yielding highly in life. Challenges are never going to be, are never going to stop in life. And shortcomings are not going to end, but you need to know the limitations and you need to learn how to stay humble no matter what. I want to give us to share about Jesus as I'm concluding. He was humiliated to the least, spitted on too, I mean, striped naked and all that. But he knew he was a son of God, but he stayed humble, like totally humble. Because at the end of the day, he knew he's the Lord of Lords, he's the King of Kings. I mean, he's even above the earth. So at the end of the day, you're your own boss. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm someone in this world, but
by the end of the day, I'm not the level of those who humiliate you or those who try to put me down. You're beyond that. Just need to stay humble. Love you all. Stay blessed. This is your life today with your favorite host, Alice Arts. <laughs> uh, keep subscribing, sharing in, and I'll. I feel like spitting this out mm. very soon and very soon we are unleashing what we have for you the beauty spa um the gym i mean your health consultant center uh, very soon and soon so just keep following in and we shall be telling you more about us your life today with your favorite host alice nuts i love you all stay blessed bye bye